Today we're going to make a Japanese drink. The Japanese highball. For this drink, you're going to need a Collins glass, a jigger, a bar spoon, tongs, and an ice chisel or an ice pick. This drink uses Japanese whiskey, soda water, and large hunks of clear ice. Japanese whiskey came into being in the 1920s. It was founded by the efforts of two men named Tori and Takatsuru, who were both fascinated by Scotch whiskey. Tori formed Suntory. Takatsuru was an early employee at Suntory, who later broke off and started Nika. Suntory and Nika are the BMW and Mercedes of Japanese whiskey. Both brands are made in the style of Scotch whiskey, but with the delicacy and precision of the Japanese touch. The unsung hero in a good Japanese highball is the large hunks of clear ice. Aesthetics are important in Japanese culture, and this extends to the use of ice, so there's no cloudy ice allowed. There are several different methods to make clear ice. So far the easiest one I've found is using the Studio Neat Clear Ice Kit. In this case it would be more accurate to carve down a large block of ice, but use the method that works for you. The heyday of the Japanese highball was in the 60s, right around the time You Only Live Twice was published. It fell off in the 80s, but is experiencing a resurgence in popularity. In Japan, whiskey highballs are commonly served in beer steins. I like using a Collins glass, because the only beer stein I have doesn't work well on camera. But if you want to use a glass beer stein, don't let me stop you. In the book You Only Live Twice, James Bond rejected Japanese whiskey outright. Despite everyone around him, people he respected and admired telling him it was good. Not to mention the fact that James Bond loved scotch which was the model for Japanese whiskey. Bond's confidants, Tiger Tanaka and Dicko Henderson, both tried to get Bond to drink Japanese whiskey. But Bond, in the ultimate green eggs and ham rejection, flat out refused to try it. And in the morning after a night of heavy drinking, which is characteristic of a night out with Bond, when his friend's hangovers started to kick in, Bond righteously wagged his finger at them and blamed the Japanese whiskey for the pounding in their heads, which is mighty hypocritical of the double O agent. Because in Thunderball, Bond pounded 11 scotch and sodas one night, and the next morning, the fact that the whiskey was made in Scotland didn't help the dizzying, blinding, thunderous circus parading around in his skull. Shiro Fuda, or Centauri White Label, was Dicko Henderson's favorite. It's a peaty blended whiskey that's also Japan's earliest whiskey. So perhaps it would be better to use a smoky whiskey like Hakushu, which is a single malt. I like using a good blended whiskey, like Habiki but it's dealer's choice when it comes to the Japanese whiskey to use. The flavor of the drink will come entirely from the whiskey, so choose wisely. There's a bit of a ritual to this drink, so don't just fill the glass with some cubes from the ice maker in your fridge and slop in some whiskey and Schweppes. Take care and experience the difference. We'll start by chilling our glass. Fill it with ice and water and give it a good stir. Next, dump the ice and water. Then we're gonna fill the glass back up with ice and come as close to the top as we can with as few pieces as possible. Since this glass is so tapered, we're gonna have to cut the ice down. Use an ice pick or an ice chisel to whittle down the ice. The goal is to use as big a cube as you can, but still allow it to fit in the glass. Chip some ice off and try it in the glass. If it's still too big, take it back out and work it down some more. Once the glass is filled with ice, open your bottle and carefully measure out an ounce and a half of Japanese whiskey. Pour it over the ice in your Collins glass. Give it a short stir to chill the whiskey. Pop open your soda water and slowly pour it into your glass. We're going for a ratio of two to one soda to whiskey. And in this case, since the bottle is a little over six ounces, we want to make sure we use a little less than half. That way we can approximate the ratio. Carefully work in your bar spoon. Lift the ice and give it a half turn. Just enough to mix the whiskey and soda, but not enough to kill the carbonation. And that's all there is to it. A drink even James Bond would love. If he could ever get over his fear of Japanese whiskey. Or assuming it was a blind taste test. The Japanese highball. Kampai. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe. And check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.